Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Live a Live. Now it's time to choose another scenario. We have four left and we're going to go sci-fi. Behold the transport ship. Kogito. Irogosum. En route to planet Earth. Inside a new kind of life form is being created. The robot created by Kato, the mechanic, will become imminently involved as events spiral out of control on board. Space Dock, TSQ-05, Dis de de Dispatcher, Report. Vessel name, Kogito, Irgosum. Vessel type, Civilian Transport. Destination, Earth. Cargo, Alien Life Form, Crew, 5. Passengers, 1. Military, in charge of cargo. It's got some creepy music going on, I'll tell you that right now. Ugh. It's a little unsettling. Note. Onboard cargo. Alien life form. Traits. Large quadruple. Quadruple. Abilities. Unknown. Organic structure. Unknown. Orders from Earth with regard to life form. Study in great detail. Transport to base at all costs. Science Fiction Chapter, Mechanical Heart. There we go. Finished! Hmm? That's odd. That should have done it. Oh, I can move. It... It, it moved! Yeah! Alright! Do you understand me? I'm Kato. That's ka ta to Kato, yeah. Good morning. Uh, say, that's right, you don't have a name yet. Uh, let's see. Since you're round... How about rover? Like an explanation, exploration vehicle? Nah, that sounds like a dog's name anyway. I got it. How about I give you a silly name, complete opposite to your nature? You can be Cube. Hmm. Maybe not. Oh well, I'm sure I'll think of something. Come with me. Okay. Can I move around? Oh yeah! I'm a spear robot. That's named Cube. Anything in here I can grab? Nothing, nothing's, nothing's. Oh, I can press it. Personal diary. Month X. Day X. I finished prototype 01. I ran some basic structural tests, but they turned out less successful than I hope. Month X, Day X. I'm gathering data for Prototype 2. I've got the walking system done. Month X, Day X. I've been building Prototype 03. It's going pretty well. Month X, Day X. 
I finally completed Prototype 03. Once I perform my final routine check of the ship, I'll run one last test. Only one more week till we're back on Earth. Tomorrow the other five members awaken from cold sleep. I'd really like to get it working before then. I'm assuming I'm Prototype 3. I'm Prototype 3. I'm not the failure. Come with me. Okay. You're my master, uh, anyway, so I can't say no. I have to register you as a member of the crew. Okay, get in here. Let's see now. Here we go. Good morning, Kato. Please state your business. Good morning. I need to register a new crew member. Understood. Crew registration. New member. Classification. Worker robot. Name? We're gonna stick with Cube. Cannon, baby. Cannon. Registering. Done. Now you can come and go as you please. Mind each of the crew's individual cabins have security locks. If you don't have the owner's permission, you won't be able to get in. Do you want me to repeat that? Uh, no thank you. Alright then, Cube. Now I want you to follow me on your own. I need to test out your AI. I'll be somewhere on this floor. Your job will be to come and find me. Okay. What? Can I play around with this thing? Can I talk to it? I'm Robot 2. Hello, I am this ship's mother computer. I know all about you. You are the first robot that Kato completed. I look forward to working with you. You say anything else? Yeah, 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 okay, never mind. Yes, you look forward to working with me. Control module, mother computer, terminal room. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's go south then. Left, common area. Right, sick bay. What about down? You didn't tell me any of that. Huh? Huh? Which floor would you like to... Uh, we'll cancel right now. We'll go check around here before we uh, head up to a different floor. Living module. User, Rachel. Entry permission denied. Living module. User, Kirk. Entry permission denied. Okay, so that's their cells there. <laughs> They're not, it's not necessarily their cells, but... Uh, it's our living quarters, I guess. Yeah, this is where I was born. So let's go up here, then. There's, like, literally no music right now. It's like, oh, man, this is creepy. Living module, break room. Oh, that's not off-limits. Let's go in here. Maybe he's in here. Kato? Can't do anything with that computer. Room temperature, currently normal. Can't turn on TV? Okay, that's a bummer. What about in here? Where's this take me? Okay, it takes us back to where the break room is. Okay, well, we'll continue going north then. Elevator. Okay, we don't want to go there just yet. We'll search around still. Okay, can't go anywhere there. That ruined my plan. Thank you. Hey, I found you. Good job. Beyond this door is a cold sleep room. During long trips through space, we use this place to go into cryogenic stasis. Don't you, don't suppose you have to, though. But well, please wake everyone up. Won't they be afraid of me? Like, oh my god. Thanks! What is this freak of nature? Cold sleep capsule. There's a nameplate here. Uh, reserve capsule. The switch is blinking. Press it. 
I like his hair. Cargo handler, Huey. Communications officer, Rachel. I know where your room is, Rachel. I'm a robot. I'm not creepy. Pilot Kirk. <laughs> Kirk, Star Trek. Well, they're all awake now. What do I do now, Kato? That's the spirit cube. Thanks. Rise and shine, everyone. <laughs> I spin around, I do tricks for you. So you finally manage a model that doesn't fall apart when it's turned on, eh? He's called Cube. I mean, I forgot to say yeah. I'm Rachel. Nice to meet you, Cube. Good to meet you, Cube. I'm Kirk. Uh, um... Huh, Huey's still asleep. Hey, Cube, why don't you wake up Sleeping Beauty here? Okay. Bump de bump bump. <laughs> uh, Kirk, come on, I thought I told you to lay off. It's not that time. <laughs> you, what the hell? Hey, Huey, finally awake, huh? That's the robot Kato was building. Uh huh. Uh. Robot? Oh, you finally finished him? My name's Huey. Huey, Huey, hee <laughs> hee. Corporal Darth, how are you feeling? <laughs> you ever hear of anyone who actually felt refreshed after waking up from cold sleep? Corporal? The robot that Kato was building is done. He's called Cube. <laughs> it's very tense. Is that thing going to be wandering around the ship like a loose rodent? Just making sure it stays out of the way. I'm heading to the break room. Mm, he sounds like a really nasty person. Horrible personality. That's a military man for you. So inflexible. Eh, don't worry about it too much. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot to tell you. When we wake up from cold sleep, we have a meeting in the break room. Come on, you're part of the crew too, so you're obliged to attend. Or obligated, I should say. Don't worry about Corporal Darth. He'll get used to you. Hey, er, so that's like you to be treating him as if he was were human. You really think so? Well, I am human. That's playing the game. Right? Well, let's go to the, uh, the break room and see what's going on now. What's the plan? Apparently, within a week... Uh, we're going to be uh, landing on Mars, so hell yeah. This should be the break room. Hey there, Cube. Uh, hmm, the captain's late. What's up? This is a book. Do you want to read it? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> she lifts me up. <laughs> At least I hope that's a girl. If it's not a girl, I'm going to laugh my ass off. The dawn of the universe, universal age. Yeah, it has to be a girl. Anyways, it's a story about people who lived centuries ago. I really like reading about people like that. They're so adventurous. <laughs> that's because you're a chicken. You'd be too scared to do stuff that yourself. If I could speak correct language. Cube? 
You gotta explore the ship some. See the world. Go, to, so to speak. Learn on your own. Kato, can he, you know, actually do anything? Not at the moment, but he should be able to pick up all sorts of useful skills. Why don't we teach him how to make coffee? Cube, come over here. Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Go ahead. Make some coffee? Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, not bad. Let's have a little taste. Blech. Man, that's bitter. S sorry. Get away from me! Whoa, dude! Chill. What are you doing? Unfortunately, unlike you all, I haven't many pleasant experiences with robots. But, but that isn't Cube's fault. Oh, Captain? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. It's the Captain. My apologies for the delay. How are you all feeling? We're all fine. That's good. Introduce me! Introduce me! Hmm? What's that I see over there? Oh, that's my robot. His name's Cube. Oh, you finished it. I'd love to take a closer look later on. Well, I don't really have anything to report. Sorry for taking your time. That is all. Sheesh. Some meeting, one game, and it's basically over. Ha! Huh, you know you'd like him that way. Ha ha ha. True that. Hey Kato, want to see something cool? Come to the cargo bay. The behemoth? Well then, I'll see it after I check the mother computer. Cube, you come too. Use the elevator. The mother computer is on level 3 while the hold is on level 1. Okay. Can we be friends? Please? I don't want to hurt you. I'm a cube. I can't hurt people. I have no arms. I got a hat on. I'm hip. Kids like me, right? Well, let's go uh, to the third floor then, I guess. I love how he walks. Yeah, I don't have permission yet to go into their quarters. Uh, Let's go to level 3. Let's go to the mother computer. Uh, we'll try going in here. Mother computer capsule. Is there anything on the sides here? What's this? Totally going past what, you know, the mother computer is, but... Oh, whoa, 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 where am I going? Oh, is that an elevator too, then? Ele okay, that's an elevator. Cockpit block. What's in here? Any uh, items, by chance? Oh, is that Rachel and Kirk? Yay! Oh, you came, Cube? We control the ship from here. I'm the communi communica communications officer. Blah, 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 blah. I checked the antenna to make sure everything's working properly. That's cool. Is that good? Huh? That's odd. What's wrong? The main antenna's acting up. Everyone, please come to the cockpit. What's the matter? Something's up with the comm system. Get a move on it. Come on. Warp speed. It's really weird. 
We can receive transmissions from home and with no problem at all. But we can't send them out. Oh, I can move now. <laughs> Scratch my face. Hmm. Hmm. It's really weird. Okay, yeah, you're going to say the same thing. Did you examine the sub antenna? Yeah, it's fine. The main and sub antenna are totally different locations. There's nothing to worry about. Let's talk to Huey. What did the captain say? He said to figure it out and get it working. I'm about ready for him to say, oh, that's just like Captain. Uh, why don't we just wait until the thing stops working entirely? It might as well to be totally kaput already. Communication is useless if only it goes one way. Man, this is a pain in the ass. I'll just fix it manually. No sweat. I'll just hop outside, tinker a bit, and be back. Warp speed! Is it okay? I mean, is it safe to do that? Guess we don't have a choice. Will you accompany Kirk outside the ship? Sure thing. I'll cover the airlock controls, then I'll return and back you up from here. Well, I didn't check out the mother computer. I didn't know this would be like a scene. Eh, oh well. Experiences. And we're almost home, too. I was hoping I wouldn't have to be alone with Hugh again. Huey. Well, what's wrong with that person? Captain, speak. What is it? Kirk and Kato are going outside. I understand. Good thinking. That's all he says. It's a little cold. That was weird. Why aren't you feeling all right? Yeah, that's uh, a little strange. Okay, please don't tell me you're gonna call again. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting a really, really weird suspicion now. Something bad could possibly happen. The captain is acting really strange. Let's go to the mother computer. I, I, oh, I can't get in there now. Okay. I'm forbidden now. So I had a chance, and now I, I throw it all away. Why did I do that? So where's this airlock room then? Oh, hey. This robot looks a lot like Cube. It doesn't have an energy source attached to it, though. Okay, I can't really attach anything. What's in this cargo? Okay. Apparently not that much. Not that much at all. Um, we'll go to floor one then. I'm assuming the airlock could be floor one, and plus there's a thing called the behemoth. Maybe that's a life form they were talking about. They kind of gave it a code name. If so, that's a very, very scary code name. Why would you give an alien behemoth? Behemoths destroy. Look, it's even got an evil thing on. Oh my god, it opened up the door. What the hell? Behemoth monitoring. Body, voice, uh, body. Let's, uh, let's hear its voice. Okay, so... Uh, I never feel safe when they, you know, have people like that, uh, aliens like that. Oh, well, let's turn on the lights, I guess. Is this where the airlock is? Elevator, okay. Control module. Yep, there we go. Let's go see how Kato and Kirk is doing then. Uh-oh, Huey. Stop it. Or right, stop it. This is not the time. Don't mess with me, you son of a bitch. Cut it out, Kirk. Stop, stop it. This is not the time. Okay. Don't miss me. Uh, thank you. Yeah, get out of the... Guys, calm down. Seriously. You keep out of this. Stop going off on cube like that. Don't you order me around. You're a damn coward. Don't you forget. That's why Rachel dumped you. Oh, that's a guy. 
Well, he has a very girly voice now. Make sure you don't screw up and get yourself sucked outside. Are you alright? So that is a guy. I did not know that. <laughs> he had uh, really long hair. That'll be his voice from now on, I don't care. <laughs> I like those suits. Can can you put Cube in one? Please put Cube in one. Cube will help. He has no arms, but he will help. Wishful thinking. So here, what, what do you think, bud? It looks like you caught me at an embarrassing moment. We humans are pretty odd, aren't we? Wow, you just like ran out there. Shouldn't you stay here and watch? Make sure they're safe? There are two switches. Uh, let's try one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was a bad move, in my opinion. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think it's game over for Cube. No, Cube. In the end, Cube never made it to Earth. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, guys. That, that's that's it of this uh, this episode, then. When we, uh, in the next episode, we'll pick back up where we left off. This time, not dying. That's fantastic. Way to die. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.